Okay, this is the my overall review of this by 22 palettes. First one I got was the Luxor. Uh, basically, it has a pyramid shape and it looked like copperish, but it's not copper. Um, thing to it. It's supposed to be very sharp, cutting, accurate. The second one I got is the PBA Gemmo Platinum. Very light. Okay. The next one is the Terminator. A little heavier, 16 gram. Next one is Hornet. It's also 16 gram. And the last one I got is the Crow Magnum. 18.2 gram. So that's right the weight on all this. It's easier to tell. So this is 16.36, 16 16.20, 18 18.21. So it's 9.7 gram. 9.9 .9 gram. Okay. So how do I like it? So far, the one will kill is actually let's go with another one the only one doesn't kill is the pba planet um not sure what's wrong with it it's 9.9 9.7 between this two this three all kills heavier caliper this one's supposed to go about 30 percent faster i believe the reason why it doesn't kill let me open this up is because it's only 10 or 9.7 grand and it has this round tip on it Okay, I don't think this thing cuts into the squirrel so far. Squirrel, rabbit. Um, it bounces off of it. I'm pretty sure it hurts them. Probably give them a really big bruising. But it doesn't penetrate their body. So all this shot at a 25 yard, 21 to 25 yard range. So even within 21 yard range, this planet still doesn't kill. The Luxor kills 100% of the time. It's only 0.2 grain more heavier, but it kills 100% of the time. And the animal, when it got hit, I'll show you the image right now. The animal got hit, struggled a little bit, fall right down. Basically on the same ground where I hit it, and falls, falls, falls on the ground. Um, PBA, I hit it many times. Different type of animal, obviously, one shot. They jump up. I know I hit them. They jump up, then they run away. A couple times, maybe three to four different ones. They basically come back again, the same animal, so it doesn't kill. So this is the only one that doesn't kill. It's only for targeting. Targeting, I believe. Um, what's it say on there? How low enhanced penetration velocity by 30%. With uh, the Gamma fus Swarm Fusion, she put out about um, 975 foot per second. It says hunting here. Uh, I would say this is more of a target practice. The best kill so far, I would say, would be ranking between this two, the Luxor and the Terminator. The Hornet, the Hornet kills in a funny way. Um, the way it works is, let me open this up. The way Hornet works is, you see that copper tip. Basically what it does is the tip will penetrate through the animal. The tip will continue on a little bit in distance, but the back up here will work just like the crawl or terminator, mushroom. It will mushroom up the entire lead piece and what do really serious damage. The only reason it wasn't, it, it seems like a best penetration. The reason why I don't think it's the best kill is because it does penetrate. I know it penetrated. Um, the animal get hit. Every time I hit with this, it will run about two, three foot before it falls down. So what I believe is happening is once it penetrates the skin, into a little bit, and the lead in the back of this part, the lead in the back of this part slows down, start expanding as this penetrating it. But all the punching power has got taken away from the metal piece. As the lead expanding, it doesn't do as much damage, even though mushrooms up as much as this too. It doesn't do as much damage as, let's say, this one instantly. Mushrooms up. So it's almost like a delayed kill. It will definitely penetrate, let's say, if you're hitting something much thicker skin than squirrel like a rabbit, or a skunk, um, or a raccoon. I would say, maybe a raccoon or coyote, you want to use this. It will penetrate the skin and do a delay kill. So I would say the best penetrator is this. This one, the crow, the problem with the crow is, it does kill. The animal runs about, about three foot also. It's worse than this, the worst killing machine out of this, besides this one doesn't kill. 
the PDA is the is the crow. The flight path of the crow is so inaccurate, and it's much bigger caliper in weight, not bigger. I mean, heavier caliper. So and the the flat piece, uh, the flat profile of the front doesn't allow the travel through the air uh, very aerodynamic. So if we look at this, the crow. This is the crow, about 21 yards away. This is 21 yards. 21 yards away, the crow. If I end the crosshair right here, the crow ends up right here. This is a bore side piece. So let's say for another example, PDA, the very light round for targeting, it will hit about less than half inch from each other. There's one that's off. Sometimes it ricochets. That's weird about this thing. It's so light. Sometimes it ricochets or it just goes off its path. But often deliver a really close contact. Let's say if you're looking at this target right here, or within half inch circle in diameter. So I would say the most accurate within this is PBA, but doesn't kill within half inch and 21 yards. That's 61, 63 feet away with a brake barrel, air rifle. The crawl, again, going back to the crawl. I have to readjust the distance from here. It's about one inch distance at 21 yards. That is also about one inch to one and a half inch distance at 21. The drop is so significant, I have to readjust um, the arrow. So I have to point about one and a half inch above to get this point, to hit this target right here. Terminator is actually really good. But the crosshair, this is the grouping. That's where I'm aiming. So within one inch grouping for Terminator, same thing for here. Terminator is for one inch grouping. So about 21 yards, 20, 20, 21 to 20, 25 yards. For this target, it's 21 yards. For where I'm shooting, within one inch grouping, that's a real life size squirrel. It can hit the head, the body, or the lower within this grouping. Once you have it somewhere it's in the center, it will hit the animal. And Terminator will kill with one shot, one kill. Luxor. It's it's actually very accurate. If you look, if you look, there's one ricochet right here. It's fairly steady, just the wing direction. Uh, sometimes the hot air moves up and down, but it's fairly accurate. Okay, PBA Hornet, which is this piece. Hornet, it gets about right there. It's a little heavier around. I was trying to shoot here, so I had to readjust it to get a few shots there. So I tried it again, and I got almost instant readjust my scope within less than a quarter inch away from the target for a hornet. So this is actually very accurate and predictable. And I try again with the crow and try to hit this. This is where I end up. Oh, nearly the same distance drop. Just like about two grand heavier and the terrible profile. It's not much aerodynamic. It slows itself down. And yeah, this is basically where it lives. Crow lives about one and one and a half inch down at um, 21 yards. Terminator. Three shots, very accurate, and this is Terminator. The Crow and Terminator are very similar looking. Besides, there's a little pointy tip. So you can see this little pointy tip there. Not much, but it's enough to glide through the air and without drop too much. At 16 grand, 16.3 grand, it can hit a grouping within a quarter inch or a one inch right here. So the Terminator is pretty good. So if I would go shooting and rank all this five, the accuracy wise, uh, let's go, let's do the accuracy first. If we do accuracy from the best to the worst, it will be this and the gamble and the hornet, the terminator. This two is about the same. And the crow, the crow will be like all the way there. It's all unpredictable. It's almost very pointless. But out of all five, this is this apparently does the most damage and the most mushroom. Because the second it hits, the mushrooms are broom up. So the amount of internal damage, this is the most deadliest weapon. This penetrates, delay penetrate a mushroom. Mushroom and penetrate. Kind of in between of this, this two. And this doesn't kill. Okay. That's what deadly wise. Uh, let's go. The one for sure, 100 percent so far delivered kill is this two. And between those two, I would say. The Terminator may be a little ahead of that, and it's this guy, and then it's Crow. I would do about, scale-wise, I'll do about this, and this one doesn't even kill. I don't know, it doesn't even have to be on the list if it doesn't kill, okay?
maybe closer range, 15 yards, 10 yards, this will kill, but so far 21 yards, 61 feet, it doesn't kill. So that's my review of this, five different type of 22 caliber pellets, and I believe I'll be sticking with this for a while. Thanks for watching.